Hello everybody. Today we are going to see beginners to expert to an expert nine step learning roadmap in SAP MMS world. So we are going to see this one. First, understand the basics SAP basics how the navigation works, how GUI part the graphical user interface part is working. Familiarize yourself with SAP ERP and navigations SAP GUI navigation. Log on to SAP GUI. Try to understand the transactions, basic level transactions like purchase requisition creation, purchase order creation, material master creation, MF01, basic level transaction, how it works. Next step, step two, learn master data in SAP. Grasp the foundation of procurement in material, material master creation, supplier master creation, in BP transaction flow. Purchase info record creation, ME11 transaction code, source list creation, ME01 transaction code. Get a sandbox login and try to do all this in the basic master data creation. Next time. Explore procurement, learn end to end process purchase cycle, standard procurement process. Purchase requisition, purchase order, which is a ten invoice. It's called standard pocket invoice. Practice pocket to pay cycle. Get yourself trained in purchase pocket to pay cycle. Vendor consign. Subcontracting. Subcontracting process. All those are all business processes. Explore the procurement processes. Next step. Step four. Understand the inventory language. How you handle the storm. Control inventory, movement types, one not one, four level, that's it. Three not one, stock, stock replenishment, stock transfer order. All those all comes under inventory. How do you check the inventory? MMB transaction, transfer posting, MIG work transaction, physical inventory, MI010407 transaction codes. Understand the inventory management. What is the difference between purchasing and inventory? Inventory management. There is always a difference between purchasing and inventory management. Purchasing is purchasing the raw material, but whereas the maintaining inventory is inventory maintenance. There's, there is a, there will be a threshold quantity for inventory. So if it's going below that, inventory has to be filled up. There, there should be a replenishment in the inventory. That is inventory maintenance. There is always a difference between procurement and the inventory maintenance. That is step four. Step five, study organization structure, customization, configurations of customization. Learn how to create by enterprise structures. Company in company code, plant, storage location, definitions and assignments. Next, one figure in SAP IMG customization, implementation management guide. Consultant level, this is the consultant level, creation of material types, number ranges for the material, purchasing, purchase order document type, number ranges for purchase order document type, purchase requisition document type, creation. Number ranges for purchase requisition, scheduling agreement, document type creation, and number ranges for scheduling agreement document type. Material document number ranges, accounting document number ranges. All those are all number ranges should be coming under the configuration, that is the customizing of SAP comes under implementation. Release strategy. ER for purchase requisition, purchase order release strategy comes under configurations. Familiarize, this is the first part of consultant level. Consultant level starts from here itself. From here itself, from the step five itself. Now, learn pricing and taxation, pricing schema. A link has been provided in the description. Check the link for pricing schema. So, uh, ultimately, this is very important in SAP and all. Conditions, uh, base price, PV00, gross price. FRA1 is price. Condition technique, taxes in MM, input tax, output taxes, sales and distribution. A link has been provided in the description on the configuration. Calculation procedure. We call it calculation procedure in FICV. Taxes will be configured in FICV. A link has been provided in the description. Check the link for the configuration of taxes. Step 8. Get hands-on to experience with reporting and analytics. Generate reports. 
open purchase order report. Okay, link has been provided in the description. Check the link. Open purchase order, purchase requisition, open purchase requisition, open purchase order reports. And the comparison it comparing the lead time in days, supplier lead time in days in with with Microsoft Power BI. The link has been provided in the description. Check the link. Material document, um, the material document. Checking the material document. They're getting the uh, pitching the report from the for the material document. The link has been provided in the description. Check the link. All those role comes under consultant level. This is consent of consultant level. Now and then, this is maybe asking you these, these reports. Clients may ask you to download the report and give them the reports. Open purchase order, position, open purchase order, material documents, material document list. All those are all comes under with the uh, reports. Next. Learn the integration with other modules. Material management and FIC book, material management with PST. Material management with production planning, all these three, the yeah, link has been provided in the description. Check the link. FICU, MM with the FICU is valuation and account assigned. SD is third party sales or individual purchase order. MM is MM with PP, production planning. A yeah, link has been provided in the description. Check the link. Raw material will be sent to the production line and in turn it comes out as a finished goods. All the raw material will be combined together becomes a finished goods. A link has been provided in the description. Check the link. These are all the steps, roadmaps for consultant from zero to hero. Thank you.